Westinghouse had been generally dealing with NBC. They had bought the football package from NBC the previous fall, and uh, surely had, were inclined to go with NBC on political conventions. I came back to my office uh, one afternoon, about 2 o'clock, right after lunch, and uh, saw sitting there in my office Jack Van Valkenburg, the president of the television network, and two men with him. Uh, he introduced the two of them as uh, Mr. McCollum, the uh, vice president for white goods at Westinghouse, and the executive vice president of Ketchum McLeod and Grove Advertising Agency. And they said they were interested in knowing what we intended to do with the political convention. Well, I opened up and gave him a great, big, long story, being very specific on what I thought we'd be doing. We're going to cover everything, not only in the hall, but anything outside or on the fringes of the hall. And we'd uh, cover it as a news event. And they asked a lot of questions I kept on. And I suppose we went for at least an hour, maybe more, and uh, at the end of that time, they seemed very interested. Uh, I'd expected them to be interested only in NBC, but they found they hadn't gotten anything very specific. So it looked as if when they left that day, we had a good chance and they wanted to talk further. So uh, a few days later, Bill Hyland, the advertising manager, sales manager for CBS television. And I went to Pittsburgh and carried a lot of material along with us and went ahead and made our complete pitch. Uh, from that point on, it looked very much as if we would get the deal. We cleared it with the national committees just to be sure they didn't mind Westinghouse and uh, went ahead and um, it's in the middle of the executive's Christmas party on the 20th floor at CBS. The call came from Pittsburgh that we had won and that uh, we had the order for the 1952 conventions. And this gave us time to go ahead and prepare. So of course this was a great day of celebration at CBS since we, I think most of the management had expected that NBC would get the first sale. And NBC and ABC both went into forced draft and both came up with eventual sales, but we got a higher price and more promotion, more publicity, and uh, had the edge generally. Why do you think you got a higher price from West? Uh... Well, because uh, we, the others had to cut the price to be able to compete. Uh -huh. In other words, we got our price because they bought what we were selling. It sounds like you had given a lot of thought to the convention before the Westinghouse executive showed up at CBS. Well, in a sense I had, but actually I had since 1948 because I really had, as early as 1948, I thought a good deal as to how I would cover one of these in the event the opportunity ever came. And here was the opportunity, so it fell right into position for me. 